The secret to success and living a happy life is to live life like you're in love. Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Leah Chantel, and today I'm going to talk about how to live life like you're in love. Rather than be in love with the one thing that you're hoping for, like that one passion or that one dream that you want to come true, it's better to live like everything in your life is something that you're in love with and to just completely show up with love. And I'll give you an example. And this is a story of a woman that I coached who was a childcare provider and she was also a singer on the side. So I'll give this story as an example. She showed up to work and she didn't show up with a completely bad attitude, but it wasn't her passion. You could kind of tell. She was a little bit dispassionate, a little bit sarcastic, a little bit negative. But haven't you noticed that in a lot of workplaces, a lot of people show up with that little bit of edge of negativity, like TGIF, oh, it's Monday, Monday sucks, I can't wait to get to hump day, and then Thursday. Those sorts of attitudes are really common at work. And so that's the way she showed up to her work, which this very common attitude where she was a good worker, she showed up for about a year and a half, and then she would sing on the side. And that was her real passion, was that she wanted to be a singer and sing in bars and have paid gigs. But what happened after a year and a half was she got some really critical feedback from somebody where she was performing one of her gigs. And so she started to doubt herself. And then on top of that, her vocal cords started to shut down, which was really, really sad. Her voice was burning out. And her doctor said that she may not be able to sing again. And so what ended up happening was she was reevaluating her life and she realized, well, maybe the singing isn't my passion. She was sort of starting to give up on it because she was worried she wouldn't be able to sing anymore. And then what she ended up doing was making her day job into her passion. She said, you know what? I've had this day job for a year and a half. You know, I don't hate it. So why not make this into my dream life? Why not turn this into my passion? But the interesting thing was around that time, her boss changed. And she got a very different boss. And then all of a sudden, even though she was showing up and investing in her work and being a really good worker and showing up with a lot of passion, her boss actually kind of turned on her and were setting things up at work so things were difficult. She didn't have tools that she needed like sippy cups or things for children that they need during the day. And things got very difficult at work and the blame was falling on her for those things not happening correctly. And then she got really, really discouraged because she said, well, what am I supposed to do now? Like, there were a couple of mistakes in this story that I want to that I want to point out. So basically, we have to go back to the beginning. At the beginning of the story, you know, she showed up with a little bit of sarcasm, a little bit of dispassionate attitude and detachment at her work. It's very important that all the support jobs that you ever take that help you build towards your dream you have to give them the same love and attention as the dream itself because it's supporting you. It's helping you achieve your goals and your dreams. So that was mistake number one, was that she didn't really show up with love from the beginning at her job. She kind of started showing up a little bit late in the game and it was at a critical time when her boss changed and she really needed to pivot and be ready for that change. And she wasn't prepared for the change at all. The second thing though that I wanted to point out was that when we talked over how she was pursuing her dream as a singer, she was kind of giving up on that dream too early too. So she was thinking that her career was over based on some negative feedback and her vocal cords being a bit tired, when really she just needed to rehabilitate her vocal cords and look for positive believing eyes to surround her and support her dream in order for her to continue pursuing it. So Basically, what I advised her was to not give up on the dream, but also to show up with more love to your day job that's supporting your dream, rather than showing up a little bit dispassionate or a little bit sarcastic. Give it your full love and your attention while you're there. Don't just dream about singing or your dream on the side while you're there. And also give your dream a full chance. Don't give up on it just because somebody said something bad about it. And in fact, any dream that you have that you're working towards on the side, that is very normal that you will encounter sooner or later somebody who's gonna say something negative about it. 
And it's also really common that you just may come up across a genuine obstacle to you achieving your dream that's practical. Like in her example, her vocal cords were starting to burn out. But rather than see that as the end of the story, just because one of the doctors said so, why not go to another doctor and get it assessed again, get a second opinion? Why not find a different vocal cord teacher who can teach you how to sing in a way that preserves your vocal cords? Why not do a bit more research on it so you don't have to necessarily give up on your dream? Now, sometimes our dreams do come to a close. We will go through a period of our life, for example, when we're children, maybe we wanted to be an actor or a firefighter, and then the dream genuinely changes. We genuinely shift gears and want to become a writer or we want to become something else, like a banker. And those things sometimes do happen. Often, people give up on their dreams and do what other people expect them to do because it's practical and they're getting a lot of social approval for changing dreams. But sometimes people do genuinely grow out of their old dreams and they grow into a new dream. Something new inspires them and makes them passionate. And that's perfectly okay. It's perfectly okay to evolve. It's okay to put some dreams on the side. Sometimes we'll enjoy something for a period of our life. We put it on the side and then we get back to it later in life. And that's perfectly okay too. The important thing is to stay true to your true dreams and goals and ambitions and treat every aspect of your life as a, the support that it is, you know, and don't take it for granted or treat it as just your day job. Don't treat it as like, oh, this shitty crap job that I'm just doing until my dream comes true. No, treat everything with love. Live your whole life like you're in love. And this is great for dating too. People are like, oh, don't show that you're in love. Don't say you're in love first. And actually I get that. The reason why people give advice like that is when people are behaving that way is sometimes they're expecting something in return, you know? But if you're just putting the positive energy out there and you're not expecting anything in return, there's nothing wrong with that. Like no one's gonna complain about that. Mind you, the words I love you when you're dating maybe are a little bit loaded. Maybe you don't want to say those exact words if you're concerned about how that's going to come across. But behaving with an energy of being loving and being kind and happy, like that's never going to hurt, you know? It's never going to hurt in your job. It's never going to hurt in your relationships. Show up with love. Be in love with life and everything that it has to offer you. Even the negative experiences in life can be something to love because they have something to teach you, right? And so that's my video about how to be in love with life and the way that it works. You can't compartmentalize it just for your passion. You need to show love in your life to every single area. You need to show love to all the people who surround you. You don't have to say I love you if it's uncomfortable or weird for the other person, if you sense that. But if you can say I love you and it's not weird, like if it's for your family member or your friend, then do say I love you. That's an awesome thing to do because you never know when your days on the planet are going to end and you're not going to get another opportunity to tell the people in your life that you love them. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope you're all having this beautiful, wonderful, loving day and that this video added to it. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit like and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more advice. And in addition, if you want some more coaching, if you need some help or some perspective changes to help you get into that place where you are feeling loving towards the world, maybe you've been through some trauma or some difficult experiences and you're not quite there, that's okay. And I can help you make it all the way there so that you're living your high level, beautiful life that you've always dreamed of. I hope you're all having a great day and take care.